Rule number one, if they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. We stand on what? We stand on business. Let it go. If someone doesn't get it, surround yourself with someone who does. Case closed. Bye, bye, bye. But now I know better, so now I do better, and I get better. Amen. Pod with Pod Meg. With Meg. <laughs>
Oh, this is the bookmark. That's cute. Okay, so I made some notes in my little playbook because I just think it's helpful. Last night, I was editing my latest podcast with Calvin Davis Jr. Don't forget to check it out. It's episode eight. And I was editing all night. I was triggered by certain people and I just decided to scribble in this journal about protecting your energy. And here's what I said. The first thing I wrote was, if they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. If they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. If they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. Wow, that is a bar. That is a freaking bar. And I literally, I literally, I did that. Thank you, Megan. I did that. And I'm wearing a tiara because you guys know me. I'm the petty princess. Yeah. Yeah. Petty princess. <laughs> and when I'm talking about protecting my energy, I'm talking about protecting it from you haters. You know who you are. I know you're watching. Hey. But when I'm talking about protecting my energy, I'm being a little bit petty. I already know this video is going to be me going on tangents because, you know, that's just the way I am. But I can't stand people who purposely try to disrupt your peace or they do something that causes your energy to be a little bit thrown off and then they act like they do nothing. I'm like, are you for real? You just cannot be for real because like BFFR, I see you. I know what you did. In the last few days, I've dealt with people who have gaslit me and made me feel or have no, 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 because no one can tell you anything about yourself. Remember that no one can tell you anything about yourself. If you know yourself, if you know yourself, anything anyone says about you, it's like, bye, bye, bitch. Like, no, we don't do that here. No, we don't let anyone tell us about ourselves because we know ourselves and we know who we are. So um, to go back to my point, because silly me, I have so many tabs open in my noggin. I was dealing with some people who were trying to disrupt my peace. And then I said, no way, no how. And they said, how dare you not let me disrupt your peace? And I said, F you. Like, what? Like, who do you think you are? So rule number one, if they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your aunt, your classmate, your philosopher. I don't care who it is. If they disrupt your peace, tell them peace. Tell them peace. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm going to list some things in my journal that help me protect my peace because I feel like these little tips are useful and I'm going to explain them in the best, nice way I can. Get away from your cell phone. Your cell phone will give you more problems than it will give you solutions most of the time. Unless you're going on your calculator, you just don't need to be on your cell phone that often. But yeah, taking a break from your cell phone, I feel like is so beneficial because it can literally be an addiction. I know when I am home and I literally just can't get away from my cell phone. Like I can't even watch a movie or a TV show without just going on my cell phone. And I feel like that can't be good for my hand. I really just, I don't feel like that's good for my hand. And I literally had to get, um, this was from actually editing on my computer because I was editing in a way where I was just like moving my thumb. But I had to get a compression glove because I was editing so much, like literally 21st century problems. Guys, if this doesn't, I'm so sorry. If it goes out of focus, I'm new here. She doesn't even go here. Just kidding, I'm not. I literally went to school for media production. I should know my sh But um, yeah, I'm actually moving a lot, so it's probably going to defocus, but or unfocus, defocus. My media production teacher would literally cry if she heard me say that. But um, yeah, don't let your cell phone control you because I feel like cell phones, I know, I know. I'm also on live, by the way. I know, our cell phones are amazing. It can be hard, but um, don't let your cell phone control you because your cell phone will literally bring you more problems. Key point, I remember one day I was going through my Instagram and um, I was waiting. I was like, I was being a bozo, the clown. I was being a bozo, the clown. And that's part of protecting your energy. Protecting your energy is also knowing yourself. I'm not too proud to admit I was being a clown, a bozo. I was home, I was editing, and then I just went on my phone and I saw something. I saw a guy I liked kind of um, literally walking around the club with some girl. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that hurted. And I'm an emotional gangster, I get upset. So that made me upset and it kind of, it kind of just made me a little bit foggy because, or not foggy, but it kind of just made me like it, it disrupted my peace. It disrupted my focus. If I didn't go on my phone, I would be able to edit all night long. No problems, no issues. But because I saw that, I was a little bit upset. It's like, how dare you be hand in hand with another girl when you got all this? Like what? Anyways, 
anyways anyways but um yeah that's a good example of how being on your cell phone can disrupt your peace like it should not control you it should not control your emotions and don't go looking for things you don't want to find it just it it's 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 problems it's just problems and so um i was on my cell phone and i went on instagram bad 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 megan and that's what happened oh Okay, I'm just making sure everything's good. But um, yeah, don't let your cell phone control you. It's good to take a break from your cell phone because it can be an addiction and it can disrupt you from the real world or your real priorities. And you just don't want to allow a device, any technology to like ruin your psyche. Like that is not what we're, no, we're not doing that. And it's crazy how technology can help us so much, like making money, like just helping us be innovative, but it can also be so disruptive to our mental health. And I hate that for us. I hate that for the century. It's it's really, I'm like, I literally, I'm like, hey, I hate that for this new century. I really do. And it's so sad. But um, yeah, that's another way I feel like our peace can be protected by taking breaks from our phone. I feel like I've been going on this phone tangent for a while. On to the next one. Oh, but also I added some things I feel like you are meant to see. Like, I feel like I was going to be so nice to that guy if I didn't see that. Oh, sorry, I'm just making sure my mic is good. I feel like I was going to be way nicer to that guy if I didn't see that than if I did see it. So thank you, Instagram Loki. Oh, also this, let me tell you guys a little story. So I was dating this guy in high school and we were on and off for like a while. We like were together probably a total of like two and a half years. We dated from like my junior year of high school to my freshman year of college. Um, but we broke up like a little bit in between that. But we were together, like, everyone at school knew when we were together. They knew when we were not together. And um, this guy and I, I wanted to be with him throughout my first year of college. I would visit him sometimes on the weekend. Because I'm a lover girl. I love being in a relationship. I love being in love. And if I love you, I love, love, love you. Like, I really don't know how some of you guys get in these relationships barely liking your boyfriend or girlfriend. I just don't know how you guys do it. Because if I'm going to be with someone, like, you better believe, like, I think we're going to get married one day. I'm sorry. But um, we were together and one day I was just on my phone, like going through Venmo and I saw he Venmo this girl that was like kind of like a problem in our relationship. Like he never cheated, cheated physically, but he would hang out with this girl a lot. And I just was always like, why are you hanging out with this girl? You have me, like, why are you? It just didn't make sense. Narcissist, he was an attention seeker. Now I see the signs, but um, <clears throat> he demoed this girl or she demoed him and that was just like the last straw for me i was just like i'm not doing this anymore i'm out of it's not like our relationship was for convenience but it was like i just don't need to put up with this i'm in la you're in maryland why am i gonna put up with tomfoolery no way no how and it's funny because after him i dated this guy who was like a youtuber and just taught me so much and like he was like my first emo like lover and i just was like but not to discredit him or anything, but literally, what were you doing? So some things you are meant to see, but don't let social media or technology or your phone control you. Protect thy energy, guys. Protect thy energy. And I know, protect thy energy. It sounds so Shakespearean. But hello, look at me. Look at this. Does protect thy energy not, does it not fit with this? Hello, let's look at this. Hello, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, okay? All right, next one. Fake friends equals fake energy, which is no good. So if you have fake friends, cut them off. It ain't none and cut that bitch off, and I'm telling you. It ain't none to cut that bitch off. When one door closes, another one opens. So if you cut off a fake friend, you will get way better friends. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If someone shows you their true colors, believe them because... You cannot repaint a picture, can you? Oh, wait. Oh, no. If someone, tr if someone shows you their true colors, don't try to repaint them. Don't do it. They are who they are. Some people are literally just sick in the mind. They're, they have so many, like, I know we see things like, we're like, oh, my gosh, that person, like, they're functioning. Like, they're not crazy. Like, no. Some people are f***ing crazy. And I'm not saying I'm not crazy, but I think I'm... I know I'm only 24, but I feel like I've been through some things where I have realized who I am, kind of, and I'm aware of the crazy things I do. Like, I'm toxic as fuck. I am so toxic. I will admit that. I don't think it's a good thing, but I will admit that I am. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't be perfect. I don't claim to be. But some people are fucking nuts. They are nuts. They are nuts. They are...
they're not there you can say anything to those people and they just won't get it because their brains are different not everyone's brain is the same and i've realized that like have you noticed how sometimes you'll like tell a joke to someone and one person will be like oh my gosh i didn't know it <laughs> and other people will be like you are so f***ing weird and i'm just like oh you're weird for thinking I'm weird. For example, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love telling these stories. The other day, I was on a date with this guy. He took me to a casino. Um, it was kind of cute. Like, it was very spontaneous. And I'm not gonna lie, I was holding off on going on a date with this guy because I was like, when I like someone, I'm kind of one-track minded. And... I feel like I was, I don't know, but I didn't feel like going on a date with this guy that bad, but then he was like, let's go to the casino, and I was like, ooh, money, why not? So we ended up going. It was a long, long drive, and it was fun for the most part, but I can literally have fun in anywhere, literally anywhere, anytime, any day, in and out. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, anywhere. I could have fun in the McDonald's drive-thru. But, um, so we were, he was saying something to me, and I, he said something very rude to me, like, it wasn't, like, rude to me, but it was just, like, he was, like, relationships are just so awful, because I brought up something about, like, my ex or something. I know, I'm toxic. <laughs> but, um, he was, like, relationships are the worst thing in the world, like, Ugh. and I was just, like, Ugh, you, like, why do you hate relationships? Like, you heartless wench. And he was, like, or was it not that because then he said i take it back i take it back and i'm like is that something a guy would really want to take back but i guess i don't know but anyways he said oh i take it back and i'm like no like stand on business when you say something like stand on that like you can't just take it back like when you fart you think you just put it back in your booty hole i think you the shit bitch. you're not even the fuck and he looked at me like i was so bizarre he was like ew what the fuck like we're about to eat Literally, we were at in and out It's not like we are about to eat a five-course meal or a five-star meal. Like, please. And the food, like, we just ordered it. It wasn't going to come out for 10 minutes. So you're telling me you can't let the joke digest before the food comes out? Like, please. The way he handled that joke, it told me everything I need to know about him. Like, what's up your arse? That joke was funny. It was funny as fuck. And it just shows that not everyone shares the same brain as you. So, you know, put yourself amongst people that share, like, your values, your beliefs, like how you feel, because some people will try to make you feel bad about yourself when they just feel bad about themselves. You know what I mean? Don't let anyone who feels bad about themselves try to make you feel bad about yourself because misery loves company, but I won't join you, you heart this wench now go slide in a ditch <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah um i think it's very important to surround yourself with people who have similar interests to you who make you feel good about yourself because and i mean this with so much love people who have bad energy like for example people who are really insecure people who are very like angry all the time they will they're contagious they will try to rub that off on you and you don't want that you do not want that especially if you're working on yourself i'm someone who has tried so hard to work on myself like i'm not gonna let anyone try to bring me down ever like no i'm not gonna do it no way no how like call it selfish call it whatever you want i'm just not gonna allow that because i know who i am and i want to protect who i am because i've worked so hard to get to where i am if that makes sense but yeah that was like an example of people who just Oh, my eyelash some people just don't get it they just don't get it they don't get it and it's like that's not your problem if someone doesn't get it surround yourself with someone who does case closed yes i think another way to protect your energy is to also disconnect read more books i feel like reading is one of the most peaceful things we can do and i don't mean like reading on your kind i mean kindle is different because it's like i don't think you can do anything else on kindle besides read but i think reading a real book is so nice something about it is just so i know call me call me like a gen z millennial or whatever but i feel like reading is just so old-fashioned and like something about it is just so sacred and i feel like it's one of those things that is just timeless you just let your imagination run wild and i love that i love that for us i feel like we deserve to just let our imagination run wild we deserve a break we deserve to just let our minds make up whatever we want about the words we're reading and i just love that it's a great way to disconnect especially if you can do it outside Ooh, you hear the wind the birds chirping <laughs> I think that's amazing. I think that's so, so, so nice. Um, another way to disconnect, cook. Cooking, I feel like, is something that's really nice. To Wait, guys, I need my drink. Ooh, okay. 
get yourself a mug on podwithmeg.com. How cute. Literally, you can get your own customized picture. I got you. Hello. It's black inside. Black pink in your area. Ah! Black pink in your area. Ah! Um, but yeah, I think. <sighs> was that ASMR? Because I hope it was. Also to preface, I feel like protecting your energy is just making sure you're keeping your high vibrations, like your high spirits. I think that's how we protect our energy. We don't want to let anything outside of ourselves control our spirits. And I think it's very important because, the <clears throat> sorry guys, the more we are in control of our emotions and our spirit and our well-being, the more we can get done for ourselves. I think the more control we have, like for example, like routine, like I told myself I was going to do this at a certain time and then I feel good about myself afterwards. I think that's very important for just our psyche, our self-esteem. I just think it's so, so, so important. It makes us feel good when we accomplish our things that we set out to do. Stand on business. You know what I mean? Literally. But um, yeah, I think cooking is so nice because you're taking a break from everything. You're creating something. Creating something that you can put in your mouth and digest and feel good about. Ooh, I love to cook. I love to cook. I wish I had more time to do it, but I prefer, even if I like put it in the oven, that's still me, you know, doing something. So I think cooking is amazing. I think it makes us feel good. And also, I think it's very important that we realize we are what we eat. Eat good, feel good. If you eat, um, honestly, I know people say McDonald's fries are bad, but I will sacrifice whatever chemicals are in McDonald's for my happiness. And that same guy who told me the fart joke wasn't funny was the same guy who's talking down on McDonald's fries. Like, he was such a demon. Like, what is wrong with you? Literally trying to kill my vibe. Oh my goodness, never. That was our first and last date because what the f is wrong with you? But yeah, McDonald's fries are amazing. But I'm talking about like also just like drinking lots of water. I'm not going to lie. I was up editing all night. I barely drink water. I barely drink water because I was literally just like, let me just finish, please. But um, yeah, drinking water is super important. Eating fruits, veggies, a balanced diet is super important. And yeah, just be healthy. Oh. Also, another favorite one of my rules for it, protecting thy energy. Boys, but no fuck boys. You feel me? Fuck boys, but no fuck boys. Say that again slowly. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. Um. Another way I like to keep my spirits high is watching my favorite movie or TV show. If you watch my channel, if you know me personally, you know, you know, you know, Entourage is my favorite, favorite, favorite show. So I last 30 seconds, you let me take you out on a proper date. Last 60 seconds and I'll let you I love watching Entourage. Entourage is just so good to me. I love it. I feel like Entourage is like the LA fantasy. I love reality TV and Entourage honestly feels like a reality TV show. Filmed so, impe so impeccably, impeccably? It's filmed so impeccably. It's just so good. I love watching Entourage. The OC used to be my favorite show too, but I feel like watching a high school show when I'm not in high school, it feels a little bit weird. It feels like, oh, uh, what am I doing watching this? It just feels a little bit odd. I don't know what it is. I just feel a little bit weird about it. Maybe that's my own insecurity, but I just feel weird watching a high school show out of high school. I'm literally, I'm pushing 30, guys. Just kidding. I'm about to turn 25 in August, literally in a few months. In seven to eight months. That's crazy. I'm a young and I'm in my prime. Hope. Hey. But um, yeah, literally replace Entourage with any of your favorite shows, Sex in the City. <laughs> I'm like, let me just say my favorite shows. I love watching Sex in the City, The Hills, Laguna Beach. Like, now that I think about it, I love watching California shows. And thinking about it, when I was younger, I would watch a lot of California shows just to manifest my life low key. And I think that's also a way we keep our spirits high manifesting, manifesting, visualizing, just good things. When we close our eyes, hmm, breathe in and out, and just visualize good things, we just forget about the bad shit, honestly. If it makes you feel good, do it. Anything that makes you feel good that's not harming anyone else, I 100% support. And I just want to say again, I love Entourage. Doug Ellen, if you're watching and you want to put me in a reboot or you want to work together, I, I am your girl. I literally am. I'm one call away. Whatever you want to do, I'm here. Um, This is one of my favorites. One man's lost is another man's treasure. One man's lost. And by that I mean, if someone is not treasuring you, move the f 
walk on because someone else will someone else will make you feel good about yourself Ooh. someone else i'm like literally like ah. someone else will make you feel good about yourself if that one guy can't do it because hello there are billions of people in this world why settle for one who does not treat you like the princess you are you need to be treated like a princess a queen and if he does not do that for you uh. <laughs> bye 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 literally bye 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 because what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing and do you want to be with someone who doesn't even know like a golden ticket when they have it in their hand like do you want to be with someone who doesn't recognize a real diamond from a fake diamond no you don't want that you don't want that in your life and someone like that is going to drain you drain your energy and you don't want anyone to ever drain your precious beautiful energy case in point this guy i was obsessed with obsessed with literally he treated me like he treated me well like he kind of love bombed me looking back now but i loved it i, I ate it up i'm not gonna lie i'm not saying it's healthy but i'm being honest i'm just being honest i'm just being honest i'm just being honest but um there was this one guy who i literally was obsessed with he was so hot and cold all the time i ate it up and it really is a brain thing it's like a roller coaster we or at least i do i love a good roller coaster i do i do and relationships sometimes when it's a roller coaster it can be so addicting and feel so good but at the end of the day the roller coaster stops and you're left dizzy and that's how he made me feel he made me feel so dizzy and confused all the time and finally it just clicked i was like no i'm not putting up with your this behavior who do you think you are like i am megan f***ing lex i am the f***ing princess you better put some respect on my name do you know who i am well i know you know who i am so 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 and he would come back like no apologies no nothing just like come over as if i'm some like I don't know what he thought I was. I can't even think about what he thought I was. Like, I don't know what he thought this was. Truly, I don't know what he thought. But this ain't that. This ain't that for real. And it's just, I love when I wake up. I love when I wake up from, like, the dream I thought it was. Like, yes, I'm a Pisces moon. And this guy was a Pisces. Ugh. But um, I literally, I love the dream. I love the fantasy. But sometimes we have to pay attention to the nightmare. He was a beautiful nightmare. And I just was like, no more. No moss. I hope I said that right. I'm literally going to Google that. But this guy was just not for me, and I finally realized someone who doesn't treasure me, someone else will. Like, the treasure I am. The treasure. That is what I am. He will get me stars, diamonds, and some bling. <laughs> But yeah, um, one man's loss is another man's treasure. Don't wait around for someone to realize the treasure you are because they will when it's too late. And sometimes it is too late to apologize. And it's too little too late. And we just don't need that. It's unnecessary. We don't need it. We don't put up with that because we are high valuable women or high valued women. We love ourselves and we want to protect ourselves from bad juju, bad men. Bad men do not deserve good women who protect their energy so we need to protect ourselves from guys like that because they will drain us that guy would literally make me feel like i was off that roller coaster so like literally whiplash but now i know better so now i do better and i get better amen also another bullet from that you snooze you lose and this goes for the opponent and the what the what's the opposite of the opponent and recipe re re yeah this goes for both sides you snooze you lose let's say you like someone and you want to play games with them sometimes the game is necessary but sometimes you have to go after what you want because if you don't someone else will like this is a very competitive world we live in girls are spiteful men are spiteful everyone is so competitive it's crazy so sometimes you snooze you do lose and that is something that is it's a hard truth. It's a tough pill to swallow. But hello, I for one feel like I never lose. I feel like it's always that side. It's always them. But no, but then again, I have to take accountability because no, but I feel like, I don't know. This is a hard one. I don't even know how to feel about this one. I don't even know why I wrote this down. But yeah, some people need to realize that you snooze, you lose. If someone won't act right, someone else will. Like I said, one door closes, another one opens. Some people just have to do better. And if they don't do better quick enough, someone else will. And that's on that. 
Another thing that helps with protecting thy energy, protecting your spirit, I think is journaling. And I think sometimes we think so much that we almost forget to like deal with it. And I feel like when we write it down, we deal with it. We take it off our chest. And I think it's very important, especially if you're more introverted. I always say I'm an extroverted introvert. I think that I am very extroverted at some points. Like this is kind of like an extroverted thing to do. But to my core, I think I'm very introverted. And I don't like talking about my feelings too much. A lot of the times it's because I feel like not everyone can understand how I feel. But yeah, I think journaling is so important. So important to put your thoughts on paper and just let it go. Let go, let God. And I love journaling. I think it's helped me so much mentally and I just think it's a great way for us to kind of like look back and say oh I was being really profound on this day I was being really crazy on this day you know I, I just think it's very important to journal another thing I also realized recently that helps with your energy and spirit is breathing exercises oh my goodness this is so underrated like my masseuse was telling me I was so tense and he was just like breathe in breathe out oh my gosh i feel like sometimes i low-key forget to breathe and i literally would just be like sitting down like it literally is crazy we keep so much tension in our bodies and we just need to like let it go let it go we just have to let it go let it go let it go seriously let it go let it go it's so important to just let go of things that don't serve us inhale this wait exhale the stress inhale the best amen good air is good care oh yeah know who you are i think part of protecting your energy too is spending alone time because i feel like spending alone time we find out so much about ourselves when you're alone with your thoughts like you just really have to deal with it and i just think that's so important because when we know ourselves we know what triggers us we know what we love we know what we don't love like i just think it's very important that we have some alone time so we just know who we are and also in that alone time it's very important to invest in yourself invest in skincare or like doing physical activity doing things that make us feel good like for new year's me and my one of my besties netta we did um mood boards and we spent literally like three to four hours on that because i was live streaming during it i think it's, it was literally three hours or so i'm gonna insert in a picture of my mood board right here oh yeah that's tight but um yeah we spent hours on that and it was just a great way for us to spend our time and energy and just invest in our future whether or not we realize it like we were setting the tone for the year by doing like these arts and crafts and cutting up like magazine words and pictures like it just was something that was so simple but was so mentally like satisfying and it just felt good to do that i think it's just so important for us to do things that will not only help us now but will also help us in the future and yeah just invest in yourself invest in your space make sure your place is as clean as possible because i think if you live in a clean space your mind will just be more clean that's what i truly believe and i just think that's super important i try to keep my place as clean as possible um, right now it's kind of a mess because i literally have not slept i've been editing no excuses like i will definitely clean before i go out tonight um, but yeah, I just think it's very important to make sure your environment is clean, decluttered, and you invest in your environment as much as you invest in yourself because you are your space too. You are your surroundings. If you're surrounded by clutter and a mess, like your life might be a mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just being honest. I am not here to lie to you guys. I'm here to tell you the truth. Like I said, part of having high vibrations is not holding on to things that don't serve us. We let go of any bad things and stressing about things we can't control is just not going to help us. It's just not. So I think that's very important. I think it's also very important to set boundaries. Setting boundaries is key, key to protecting thy energy. When you set boundaries, you kind of filter out people who are meant to be in your life and who aren't people who don't respect your boundaries are basically people who are telling you what you want doesn't matter what's more important is what i want Ew. and people like that are selfish they're going to take away your energy they're going to drain you because they don't care about you people who care about you will respect your boundaries they will respect what you want they will respect your wants and needs and people like that they don't respect you so bye 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 here's a quote i wrote down if they don't respect it, they don't respect you, your wants, and your needs. So why, why, why would you respect them? Ooh. And that's on period. All right, so that is basically it for today. I want to keep these videos short so that I can get them out 
quickly to you guys i want to make sure that um the pod with meg solo sessions are consistent you know quality over quantity i know but i still want to make sure i get a lot of videos out there because i have a lot of shit to say and i want to let it out to the world i want my future kids to be like oh my gosh mom ah, that's hey but um yeah thank you all so much for listening to my tips and tricks for protecting thy energy i know my title is extra protect thy energy like who do you think she is shakespeare Wilma, Wilma Shakespeare. <laughs> I'm so extra. But um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great night, day, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And stay tuned for new episodes of my podcast, Pod with Meg, the solo sessions available everywhere you listen to podcasts iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio. You can watch it on YouTube. Hey! And you can watch it on Spotify. And yeah, um, I appreciate all of you guys and I love you all and I hope you all could take these with you. I hope this video was like not a super mess because I low-key feel like I was not as linear as I could have been. But hey, I did my best and that's all that matters. And I appreciate you guys all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Don't forget to share this with people you love and care about. <laughs> now I'm just being extra. Now I'm just saying things. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Again, I appreciate you guys and love you all. And let me know what else you guys want to hear from me. I'm so open to new ideas. I love talking about things like this because I feel like not only does it help you guys, it also helps me like remember who the f I am. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell him who the F I is. Like sometimes, do you ever just think like, how dare this person try to make me forget who I am? No, no, no. No one's going to make us forget who we are. We know who we are. We stand on what? We stand on business. We stand 10 toes. And also, I think another good tip, stand up for what you want. If you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. If you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Love you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. I'm your host, Megan Lex. And we out. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Maybe it's time to go. Bye. All right. And that is it for my tips and tricks for protecting thy energy. It's so important. It's just so necessary. And I want you guys all to take these tips and tricks and... Yeah, let me know if you guys have any more tips and tricks to protecting your energy and just be in high spirits. Life is so good. We can't take it for granted. We need to like take it by the balls, you know? All right, <laughs> that's enough. Bye. <clears throat> All right, hi everyone. My name is Megan Lex and welcome to my channel. If you're back, Oh my gosh, is it unfocused? Hello, 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 hey! Let me check the time. So, let's get started with today's podcast episode. Okay, this is cute, this is very cute. It's cute, right? Are we unfocused? All right, let's get started. I, yeah, okay, this is not, I feel like I'm not comfortable like this. Okay, this is cute, this is better. It made me an emotional gangster, it did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just came to mind. I said this before, avoid contagious bad energy. Energy is contagious, so if you're around bad energy, be careful because you might you might get some of that. You don't want that. You might want to you want to duck. You don't want that. Um yeah, how cute is this Juicy Couture pillow? It's so cute, right? Hello, hello, hello. What just happened? Oh, I think my camera just restarted. <clears throat> I probably would have been way nicer to him if I didn't see that. And he did not deserve that. No way, no way, no way. Blah, blah, blah. Journaling. Look how cute this journal is. It's so cute. It has all these little things I can add. I can bookmark it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is cute. And it is a great place for me to put my thoughts and everything for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 3D hearts. Thank you so, so, so much. Appreciate you. Oh my gosh, there's hair. Legitimate. I don't know how to sit. Okay, let's see. All right. Hi, everyone. Hey. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Everywhere. Wow. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to put this a little bit lower. Or is this good? Let me put maybe a little bit back. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly. Wait, I'm so sorry that I'm kind of out of the frame. I would get up, but then it's gonna just unfocus my thing. And I've tried. I've worked too hard for this focus right here. That literally is barely working. Last few days, I've dealt with people who have gift. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I'm just checking my battery. Oh my gosh, my phone is so hot. Oh wow, we're already at 41 minutes. Ah. Um. But yeah, I. 
what's it called just, yeah you are what you eat sorry for some reason my maximum recording time was reached and that does not surprise me because i spent the first 10 minutes talking about nothing like causes your energy to be a little bit because at least you can like do stuff i don't know no don't let any technology control you no 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 all right at least we're getting some good bts footage 